The various tribes in Northeast India not only believe themselves an integral part of Ramayana but also continue to follow their traditions to date. In Meghalaya, the story of Rama is popular. The Khasis, Jain Shias, and Garo people have their versions of Ramayana. In 1900, the founder of the same Khasi movement Jibo Roy brought the story of Rama in the Khasi language first. It was titled Ka Ramayun. The same Khasi movement was founded in 1899 as they were concerned about the loss of traditional Khasi culture and values due to the influence of British colonial rule and Christian missionaries. Similarly, Ramayana was translated into the Garo language by Ridin Momin. Among the Jantia people, there is a tradition, if twin boys are born in any house they are named Rama and Lakho. But more interesting is the belief of people in the Rivo area. This is an orange producing area and the oranges are sweet because they believe that Sri Rama had brought them from Sri Lanka and dropped them in this area. A traditional dramatic art form called Bhari Gaan has deeply influenced the life and society of the Garus. Closely related to the Ramayana, this distinctive art form is called Bhari Gaan or Bhar Gaan. Today, it is almost on the verge of extinction and only stray references are to be found. For the Jain Shahs of Meghalaya, even today, the Ramayana is not simply considered a mere performance but it represents the victory of truth over untruth, merits over sins, and permanence over non-permanence. It is respected and worshipped as one of those rare texts which are important to educate both the Raja and his Prajas. So, there exist certain dos and don'ts for the characters while performing the Ramayana. The overall storyline of the Ramayana that used to be popular among the people of Meghalaya is very much the same as that of Valmiki Ramayana, the only difference being the names of the different characters and as well as the names of the places which have local, regional touch. The decline of dharmic faith systems of these different communities in today's Meghalaya has impacted people's understanding of their own history, their origins, and most importantly, the cultural connection that they share with their fellow brethren in the rest of the country through the Ramayana. Bhagwan Sri Ram constituted a very important part of this heritage.